Hey what is up guys and welcome to the first episode of completing the maps. This is a series that I'm going to do where I'm just going to be running around the map and finding every one of those question marks as well as every one of the stands. As you can see here in Hirschfelden, there's a lot. And um, I don't know, I just liked having a clear map or a map with all white instead of green uh, on my first account and I did that on my first account with all the maps so I'm going to do it on this account as well um, and it's going to be similar to my stories as it's just going to be me running around shooting whatever I see and kind of getting trophies along the way hopefully um, but it's also going to be a lot more of me talking because it's going to be me talking reading these question marks because not all of them are stands it's going to be me explaining them I am going to skip over going to each separate sand because, like, in Renderland, in Deacon Now, in Renderland, there's already five things right there. So, I'm going to try to just make it quick, as quick as possible to go through this series and kind of just go from one spot to the next, fast travel and go to the next spots. You know, and try to do it as fast as I can instead of taking my time looking for stuff to hunt. I'll obviously still be looking for stuff to hunt, but I'm not going to be going to lakes at zones a whole lot as I have been during the story. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I guess we'll get started. Um, first things first, with the start of a new series, we'll start the time at, say... I guess we'll start this time at 6. Start the time at 6, and we'll just start wandering. So, I hope, so yeah, we'll see what we, we see what we find.
Deacon Nile Lonely Windmill. A lonely 18th century mill remains standing here after a fire in 1965 burns its neighboring mills down. Schoenfeldt Windmills. These mills date back to the 1850s and is a popular place to visit in the area. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I think I'm gonna uh, ask you guys what you think. Uh, should I also incorporate doing some missions, doing the side missions, and completing the side missions, or should I just focus on the stands and the information points? Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, and yeah, I'll think of other questions along the way uh, about this, because I think there's more with things I can incorporate into to kind of make it more entertaining instead of just having it be the story so i'll think more about it um but yeah hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next one good times <laughs>